Miss Beth, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I am so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to do some watercolor flowers for our junk journals, but first let's do our shout out to Makaruthi, Joyce, Hazakari, Hazali, Jane, Barbara, and SG. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, aren't these adorable? Look, I'm going to get them up close so you can see them. Oh my goodness, I think they're so special. And you can use these in so many different ways. They're on, they're hard, they're firm, they're glossy. They have a little sheen to them. All right, you guys, let's get right started. So what you're gonna need is a piece of watercolor paper. Right here, we've got that. Watercolor paper. You're gonna need a little bit of water. You're going to need some watercolors. You can get expensive ones, you can get cheap ones, whatever. It does not matter. Just get some watercolors. I found that the brushes that have a more of a blunt end work just a little bit easier. You can use any brush though. It does. You don't have to go get a special brush. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to move this right up here. Let's see if I can get it right in the middle, maybe, so we can all see. Let's do a purple. So let's get some purple going. So you just put some water on your brush and then load up your paintbrush with some color. And let's start in this corner. And you're going to start here and pull out. I'm going to get a little bit more water on my brush here and pull out. So we're going to make five, just like that. Super easy, right? Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do another one because I've got quite a bit of paint on my brush. I don't want to waste it. There we go. See, it doesn't have to be, be perfect in any way. Just... Just lay a little bit of color down. Now I'm going to, I've rinsed my brush off. Um, let's choose a blue. How about that? Let's go blue. Alrighty, loaded it up again. Now I am just going to go around each one of these just like this with my blue on my brush. So it looks like this now. Okay, so I think I get a little bit more blue on here. It's a tad bit more water, and I'm going to do the same to this one. Just like that. I've got quite a bit of blue on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and just make another one. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. And I think I'm going to go with a little bit, maybe a pink. Looks like I had a little bit of blue on there still. And I'm just going to put a little bit of pink in the middle here. And I'm going to do the pink. I'm going to go around this one in pink. Super easy. And it haphazardly. I mean, you don't want to be like perfect or anything like that because this isn't about perfect. This is just about getting some paint on the page in a special little shape. And I'm just going to put some dots in there. All right, let me rinse this off. So I'm going to pull this up so you can see it a little better. Look at what they look. Just like that. That's all you need. All right, so you're gonna let them dry. You're gonna let them dry. I'm gonna put away this paint. Okay, so now these have dried. They look like this. They all have different little personalities. Okay, next what I like to do is there's two different ways. You could go ahead and get your scissors and you can Cut out your little petals now, or 
you could do the next step and then cut the petals out. So we'll do it both ways. So because I can't really figure out which way I like better. <laughs> it, it's totally up to you. Alright, so you've cut your petal out, your flower, not a petal, it's a whole flower. And you're going to get your Sharpies that are the extra fine point. This one's almost out of ink. Or you could get your fine alcohol marker. Okay, either way. This is a little thicker. And because it's thicker, I'm going to use it. You can see better. You're going to start right at one of the points. One, at, one of... <laughs> one of these little dips down here you're going to start here and you go around to the next dip and then around to the next dip okay that's what we're going to do so we're going to start at this dip and we're going to go around and then we're going to actually do it again and turn the petal the flower do it again and you're not doing them right in line you're kind of having a little space between the two didn't do that okay little space just like that and then I put five dots one two three four five in the middle so it turns out just like that so cute right now let's see if there's any ink left on this one I don't know last night it really didn't have much left let me see if I can get, get it on a paper towel if anything's coming out. No, not really. Pick it up here. Not. Oh, it's starting to come. Okay, we might be able to use it. Alrighty. So we're going to do it without cutting. We're going to go around. Do it without cutting. I think it's the paint that it this pen doesn't like. I'm not sure if I like the darker or if I like the thinner. I'm not sure at all. Now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Right in the middle. Alrighty. So now this one looks just like this. Now we're going to cut this out. Okay, I hope everybody's doing well today. It's still raining here. It's still raining. I need to go out and cut my greenery for my bouquets today. It's a must do. I have to get all my arrangements, the jars decorated and the greenery in the jars so that I can start putting my flowers in a little later. Not today, <laughs> but later. I have to get ready or it's too much for me. All right, here's the two different ways. Super cool, right? Okay, the next step is you want to get your glossy accents. I'm looking for a little piece of paper. No, that's not going to do it. This one will. Okay, you're going to want to get your glossy accents, and I always like to get a little pin as well. And we are going to, I'm going to put, open this up, make sure it's open. You're going to put your glossy accents onto your flower. And you need to let it dry. I let mine dry overnight. At least overnight so just put it down cover it well don't be chintzy with it you want to make sure it's covered and after you do that and you let it dry I'm going to see if I'm pretty sure that's totally 
covered. I usually pick it up and look. I see one little tiny spot right here. It's self-leveling, so it'll level itself out. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. There's a big old bubble right there. I'm going to pop this bubble or smooth it off to the side. Sometimes that's easier just to smooth it off to the side. If you get any bubbles, that's all you have to do. Just smooth them right off. Just make them go away. Take them right off. There you go. Now they're gone. Totally gone. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, I'm going to set that aside because now you've got all your beautiful flowers that you have made. Okay. All your beautiful flowers. And let's get some ideas of what to do with them. You could put them on tags. Now I just took a tag and I backed it with some coffee dyed paper and this happens to be a lavender. You can put them on here with a couple of words or, oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Or you could, for some ones without any lace on them, put them on here. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. You could do either a page topper or an insert or just a little happy mail, whatever you want. But you can absolutely use these in all kinds of ways. There's some little tiny tags like this that you could put it on a tag. You can add a little something something to it. You guys, I absolutely love these watercolor flowers, and I hope you love them too. And I want to see you in my next video, guys. Oh, I can't wait to see you. See you soon. Bye now.